All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with as many as you can. We are back again. <clears throat> uh, there is a guy he claimed to be a rabbi, and this guy he had nothing to do except attacking the, the you know Christianity and Christ himself. And always, I you know I feel like. I mean, when somebody claimed to be a rabbi, and yet he speaks stupidity, and he do not know what is written in the Old Testament. You see, when I see a Muslim who do not know what is written in his Quran, I believe this is normal. I mean, most of Muslims are Muslims by name. They do not know really what Islam is about. But to claim to be a rabbi, and yet you do not know what is written in your book, that would be funny and that's stupid of you and not only you will look stupid it is those who believe you <clears throat> today I saw this video after I finished broadcasting the Messiah healed the blind rabbi to weave a singer exposes Luke corruption of the Jewish scriptures hmm. really to be fulfilled and they were watching Jesus very carefully. And if he fulfilled these three or maybe four um, miracles, then that told them that he was truly the Messiah. And one of them was to cast out a, a mute spirit, to open blind eyes, and to heal leprosy. Mm. And I was curious on um, Rabbi's thoughts on those. So, as it turns out, this is not correct. If you look at the Jewish scriptures, you will not find a prophecy like this that the Messiah is supposed to heal the blind. Okay, fat boy. Let us see if this is true or not. You are like a chicken who keep eating and eating, and you have nothing to do with the Old Testament. There's nowhere in the Old Testament says that the Messiah is supposed to heal the blind. Are you sure? Are you sure? Let us see if this is true or not. This is a Jewish website. This is not a Christian website. This is a Jewish website. Everything here is written, translated by the Jews. It is what? Jewish website. This is Isaiah chapter 35 and this is verse number five and this is speaking about what this is speaking about the messiah so when a donkey like you claim to be a rabbi <clears throat> claiming that you know what are you talking about that there's nowhere in the bible speaking about that that's mean you are always officially you are a certified donkey How in the world people they listen to you? And by the way, there's many other verses, but I'm just showing you here one of them. The same guy, he have a different video speaking about Mary, she is not virgin. Rabbi to weave a singer, explore the legendary life of Mary. Examine Matthew, virgin, birth acclaim. And by the way, in both videos, this guy who always supported by the Abdul because Abdul are stupid like him they support him by saying that the Messiah did not heal the blind by the way he just said that Muhammad is a liar because Muhammad in the Quran says that the Messiah he healed the blind and this is in chapter 3 verse number 49 but yet the Muslim they support this guy and you will see they are calling him all over, yet he is saying it clearly that your prophet is a scam. But that is normal because always the blind lead the blind. As long as we are talking about the blind. Otherwise, how in the world somebody says that, first of all, this guy, he don't believe even the Messiah came yet. And you're a prophet, he says the Messiah is Isa. So when the Muslims support this guy, obviously they are supporting the enemy of Muhammad and the enemy of Allah. And this is how stupid they are. And this is a clear proof that Muslims are out of their mind. They support blindly anyone attack Christianity. Just attack Christianity. 
so for them they see this guy as he's a person who's attacking Christianity it doesn't matter if he is in the way demolishing their cult it's fine as long as he attack a Christianity Christianity is the enemy as you see here in the front of you this is chapter 3 verse number 49 it says it clearly that Christ the Messiah speaking about himself saying that I heal the leper and I make the blind see and even I bring the dead to life but this guy he just said this is not a true does not exist and we cannot find in the Old Testament such a thing uh, which is absolutely false because in Isaiah chapter 35 it says it clearly that this is exactly what the Messiah will do same time when he speak about Mary she was not a virgin those who try to fight Christianity they claim that the prophecy about Mary being virgin is not exist in the Old Testament and I will show you an example of Islamic uh, sorry if uh, of, of Jewish website is speaking about that this is again complete Jewish Bible chad.org Jewish website and here you will see they are speaking that the female or the women which is the prophecy speak about she is going to be a young woman she is not going to be a virgin so they say that the uh, the Christian translation of the Old Testament is a fabrication because nowhere it says that she will be a virgin but you know you will see here there's a problem with the Jewish conspiracy and I believe there is some lack of intellect as long here it says that this is a prophecy about a sign about a miracle and let us go with the way they try to give interpretation for it or translation for it that they say that the word alama mean young does not mean batula batula mean even in Arabic mean which is an Aramaic word batul mean a version but the fact it does not really mean just virgin it means she is pure more than just a virgin because a woman she can be she can be virgin in her private part but she might have sex in different location or different way you know what I mean this is not doesn't mean really virginity even the word batul however here you will see the notice here it says according to their translation that this is a sign and the sign is what young women will give birth okay and support this birth will be for the child who is going to be miraculous now where is the miraculous of a woman she is young she give birth young women they give birth every day until now you Jews you could not find young women between all the Jewish since the time of David or since the time of whatever until now you could not find a woman she is young and she gave birth is that possible I assure you that every hour there is a young woman giving birth and some of them they are very young so this is cannot be what the Bible is saying it's very normal you see if he say a very old woman gave birth that would be a miracle because old women like let's say a woman she is eight years old and she is giving birth that would be something but a young woman giving birth well that is not really a miracle so here in order to fight Christianity they insist the translation here to be young not version but the young woman is someone she never been married yet and the second you say the word women it means she is a woman is that correct guys if I say young woman that means she is not a younger child do we agree are you are we listening it doesn't say young child will give birth that will make it a miracle if it's a child let us say someone she is uh, maybe seven years old or uh, six years old or four years old that will be amazing huh but it doesn't say young child it says young women so she is already a woman and women mean that she have her period already so where is the miracle here a young woman who have a period she is giving birth 
no no this is not 18 plus what 18 plus young woman she can be 13 14 she can give birth even some some of them they have their period earlier that's not about age 18 so the second you say women it's mean a, she is she became a woman physically the 18 this is something today this is you know actually this does not exist I mean what 18 this is law to protect let us say uh, uh, some uh, uh, young ones from being abused by the adult because some old they take advantage of someone he's a teenager or she's a teenager and sleep with her so this is was a law to protect the young one from the abuse of the old one this is not about when a woman she can't really have or conceive a child this is absolutely false uh, so when we say when we say young women we confirm two things that she is in the early age and she is a woman so what is the miracle that is not a sign Do we agree in order for this to be a miracle it have to be something cannot be happening this is what miracle is about and here we notice that the Jews they, they try to uh, uh, sacrifice the accuracy of the Old Testament just to stop Christianity from growing and taking over their uh, uh, their people uh, I understand that if you are a Jew and you see a lot of people leaving, you know, I mean, I don't know, say you don't really leave Judaism when you became a Christian. You're still a Jew, but you became a Messianic Jew. So they try their best in their very funny way, and I find it very silly. But the news is very clear that Jews are coming to Christ as always, never stop. And this is why the Jews until now, they are not even uh, 16 millions. You know maybe more than 80 percent of them are secular who don't believe in judaism no more which means the real jews who they are left jews are not even 20 percent the biggest gay festival in the world is in tel aviv and this is why actually i believe that the state of israel if it, if they continue in such a way the way they are israel is going to be destroyed again because they are far away from the teaching of God and they are not following God. They are not being Jews, they are not being Christians. And if you think, you know, having a nuclear weapon can can prevent you from being destroyed, that would be foolish. That would be foolish. Uh, so as you see here, those who they try to fight Christianity, they put themselves in trouble and they made themselves look funny and look naive how you claim to be a jew a rabbi and yet you claim that this is a miracle that a young woman she will give birth she's a woman already all what you need to do have sex with her and she will get pregnant. it that is not a miracle very silly the miracle will be if it is a virgin because how a virgin can give birth same time he said in his video that uh, the Christians they needed someone who don't have sin or disconnected from the original sin but still if you are born of a woman she's still from descendant from Adam anyway All right and by the way by attacking the virginity of Mary he attacked Islam again and still the stupid Muslim they support this guy because the Quran says it clearly that Mary she was a virgin but again, Muslims, Abdul, they support anyone attack a Christianity, even if he is in his way. He go over, because they don't use their brain, you know, just, just attack Christianity, attack the Trinity, attack, you know, you know just say anything, I think it's Christianity. That's why you see this guy, 95% of his subscribers are Muslims. And most of the callers are Muslims. But I am not surprised for Muslim to support him because at the end of the day, Abdul is Abdul. What you can say? I mean, if Abdul he have a brain, he would not be a Muslim anyway. So I am not surprised to see someone is Abdul and he don't have a brain and he support a guy. He say that Mary, she was not a virgin, which means the Quran is saying absolute lie. So those who see such a person, you know, such people, they don't make us bad, you know, like feel bad actually. Because will make us read the Bible more and study more, and we learn more. 
which is good and we became more and better in belief now yes I made a topic about this guy as a start but I'm going to close this video I'm going to do a live broadcast again but this time is about Abdul I want to keep this video short all right so we can start broadcast again about Muhammad again Kabich who want to join again are you guys tired who is tired I know like it's getting late and etc and maybe I am the one speaking for many hours not you hello are you getting tired who is getting tired who is sleepy here let us see who is young like me and who is old like you who is young like me give me one who is uh, full of energy I'm just like 97 years old young teenage guy oh so many of you are 97 now amazing I thought I am the only 97 here hold on they did not hear the word that the number 97 now everybody will say I am not 97 hold on <laughs> especially women unbelievable the second they say did he say 97 by the way my mom is 17 mm -hmm. all women they never go over 17 my mom what happened when she was young her mom she said to her may God cut in Arabic we say like may God like cut your age like you know she don't grow you know so since then she did that to her she was 17 and she, since then she is 17 it's a true story by you I can show it to you from Sahir Bukhari all right so guys we are going to close this video so people they can download it and get this guy busted and we will be back maybe in 10 minutes from now I will make some uh, uh, cocoa cocoa what they call it cocoa yeah cocoa uh, and we will start our podcast again and this time we will repeat our challenge to the Abdul and God is good and the one who is with God he is going to be always happy and those who are not with God they will be always under stress and by the way I just heard the news I don't know if you saw the news that a terrorist in in Egypt they attack Christian Coptic churches they are celebrating the Christmas according to the Orthodox calendar and uh, two terrorists suicide built they attack two Christian churches actually another one they could not do it fail uh, and they killed I think in the first church according to the news when the, when the Egyptian news uh, say one church 27 it's me maybe maybe 50 you know so very disgusting very filthy cult evil as their God whoever do this he must be evil as his God whoever that God is whatever you call him whatever you name him a person who believe in suiciding himself to kill as many as he can from poor people going to church peaceful who they are attacking no one they did nothing wrong he must be evil and he must be filthy satanic and you will notice if you go to the news you will see nobody is talking about it I mean where where is the news like if you go to Fox News anyone see the news I I'm, I'm looking at Fox News I don't see it where is nothing nobody talk about it because those are poor Christians in Egypt I mean who care really who care a bunch of Egyptian Christians die nobody care why they will care the same as happened what happened when uh, when the Tutsi or whatever the name in, in 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 Africa they were killing each other and more than 500 thousands killed nobody care but when Kuwait invaded by Saddam Hussein everybody care everybody want to defend Kuwait you know when you are poor when you are no one if you have money then everybody will stand to defend you everybody will speak about about you if in a car accident happened in LA everybody will speak about it but hundreds of people get killed in a Christmas night who care until now actually I cannot see it in the news where where is the news no I'm trying to find it 
trying to find the news where it says that. You know? Let us see news. Yeah, there's little news about it. Little, you know. They are talking about a guy, a policeman. He was killed while, during the time he was trying to dismantle the, the, the bomb. But nobody is talking about how many people die. You know? The only problem is an officer got killed, but all the... Uh, the Christian get killed, it's not a big deal. I mean, who cares? Yeah. Don't talk about it. It's not there. You are not to be counted, my friend. You are a poor African Christian. As simple as that. Die and nobody will remember you. This is how corrupt the world is. But somebody he uh, writes something over the uh, of, over the the mosque, and supposedly it's hateful speech. It's all over the news. But dozens of people get killed in Christmas night. Who care? Anyway, we will be back, and our prayer with those who die. They are murdered for the Lord, and they are going to be in heaven anyway. And nobody is going to step us, stop us from doing what we are doing. See you soon. In ten minutes from now, invite your friends. And we challenge the Muslims to call us and to join us in our conversation. Islam is false, no matter what you do, and you cannot prove us wrong. Thank you for being here, and see you soon again. Bye-bye. Oops. Man, this is loud. <laughs> Sorry for that.